Welcome to the show, folks. <laughs> I'm Keith Wallace. And I'm Maria Valletta. <laughs> and today we were talking about sparkling wines from the town of Conegliano Valdoviadene. Oh my God, that's a mouthful. Well, today, folks, we're talking about this fun little Italian bubbly called Prosecco. Yes, Prosecco, in this case, is the name of the grape, and it's grown in the Veneto region of northern Italy. Notice we called it sparkler or bubbly and not champagne. Champagne is a wine region in France. Yes, and it's not as elegant or as serious as champagne, but that's great. Because it's light, it should be taken lightly. In fact, it's great as a mixer. Throw a little peach nectar in there, and you've got the perfect Bellini. Now, most of these wines are produced in the Charmat method, which is, means they're fermented in tanks and not in a bottle like they do in champagne. Oh, look at all the oh, bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't that great. The thing I love about Prosecco is you get those aromas of, oh, yeah. of freshness and, and clean flavors and even hints of sweet citrus. Oh, they are, and they're light and fresh and obviously really fizzy. And the flavors go towards this really lovely white fruits like pears and apples, really, oh, really fresh. Oh, peaches. Oh, white peaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. And these wines are great as an aperitif. In fact, when I throw a party, when people come through the door, I always hand them a glass of Prosecco to start with. That's really good, yeah. Even yeah, great yeah. with casual dinners. Oh, 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 you know what's really good with? I hate to admit this, but actually salads. You eat salad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my I, God, I, I, I know, I had one last year. It was really good with Prosecco. <laughs> but salads are one of the hardest things to pair wine with because of the vinaigrette. Yeah, and exactly. the Prosecco really works with it. Also great with shrimp cocktail. Oh, 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 the horseradish. Yes, oh, because nice. of the spiciness, which yeah. I love a lot of horseradish in my cocktail sauce. You get um, this to clean off your palate and uh, refresh it. Nice. You know, Prosecco is a really great, all-around, inexpensive, sparkling wine. Let's see some of Keith's favorites today. Thank you, Maria. I have three great sparklers for us today. My first pick today is the Zardetto. It's really big with the great, great stony bubbles and this aroma of cold steel, believe it or not, and lemon. It's really a fun and zesty sparkler. It's around $16 a bottle. My second pick is the Nino Franco Rostico. And this has always been one of my favorite Proseccos, and it's racy but also creamy with this touch of hazelnut and bark on the nose. It really finishes off with this really ripe Asian pear on the palate. Really a lot of fun, $16 a bottle. It's a great buy. And for my final selection is the Bizol Prosecco. And this is surprisingly a single vineyard sparkler. And it's got a lot of personality. It's this whiff of spice in the nose that gives way to the pears. And this persistent is slightly sweet. It's a little sweet mousse. It's around $18 a bottle. Here's a little tip. You don't want to age Prosecco. In fact, you should consume it soon after you buy it because it begins to lose its freshness. Oh, that is absolutely correct, Maria. And folks, it's time to recap. Well, first off, please don't call Prosecco champagne. Call it bubbly. Or sparkling or wine. Or sparkling wine, yeah. 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 And look for Prosecco from the town of Valdobia Dene. Good point. And it's a great, everyday, inexpensive sparkling wine. Uh, Enjoy. Absolutely. Well, folks, that's all the time we have today. Don't drink any boring Prosecco. Or wine. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. If you have any comments or questions about anything you've seen on the show, please email us at uncorked at philly.com.